Hey there, everybody. How you doing? Pretty great, I assume. I'm your Rapid Guide Hunum, and welcome back to Let's Play PSO Episode 1. <laughs> I just had to do that. Uh, so, um, welcome back to Let's Play PSO Episode 1. And I'm not starting on the menu, because I want to cut down as much time as I can. Because this one's actually going to be pretty long. Uh, so, we're just going to try to get through here really fast. I'm expecting this to be a very hard thing to do. We're going through Forest 1 and 2. And, you know, we're probably going to see a little boss action. 95% chance. Ow. Alright, Temesa, or Mesa, Mesa. I'm going to continue saying Mesa. No one can change that. Um, yeah. Also. Uh, on this video I'm doing today, um, yeah, I'm just beating up some Boomas. Ow. Actually kind of hurt. Um, I'm actually sort of taking a risk here, um, because they're still fixing, like, um, I have my internet connection back, of course, as I mentioned in my last Red Steel 2 video. Um, but now, ever since then, a lot of people still don't, like, my neighbors don't. And so far, oh, I'm going to read this, and I'm going to continue what I'm saying. Boomas, I don't like their weird faces. <laughs> oh, neither do I. Be careful. You don't want to get surrounded by them. I'm going to read every single one of those, actually. Um, or at least try to. Anyways, um, yeah, so, oh, dang it, I accidentally popped that back up again. Sorry about that. Uh, well, anyways, um. Yeah, my neighbors still don't have it, and now we're getting, like, power outages, like, every day. So, I'm sort of taking a risk of this, because I'm actually sort of afraid that I might get a power outage while I'm recording this, and all of a sudden it's going to be just a blank screen I'm recording. Because I'm using a laptop to record this, so I'm not worried about not getting any uh, video back from this. So, I'm just worried about, I'm, about getting a power outage. But, um, yeah. Alright, and here's the next one. G red gates are locked. Um, green means they're okay. Of course you knew that. Of course I knew that. Of course I knew that. Oh, dear. Well, today's going to be a long sort of... It's not a quest, because you saw me, um, I didn't go to the guild counter today. We're just going through the forest like you would normally go through it if you didn't have a quest. Um, so here's some more Boomas. Alright, oh, and a Barbus Wolf. Alright, I'm actually, uh, um... I've been getting back into the groove ever since I started this LP, uh, of a PSO, episode one. Oh, dang it. Stupid Booma. Okay, let's use some of these, uh, monomates, since I have the maximum amount of monomates currently. You know, this is actually pretty easy so far. I just hope I don't miss one of these. Don't show your back to a savage wolf. It'll attack if it sees this opening. Well, that's actually true. I should have mentioned that earlier. A, a great rappy guide I am. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, barrier. Oh, I think I already have a green barrier, though. Uh, gotta adjust my mic real quick. All right, I adjusted it, uh, and here we are here, and I think there's going to be some monsters here, but I can't be sure. Nope, nothing. 
Okay, let's do an overview while I'm walking. Uh, I know there's something I forgot to uh, mention. There's gotta be something. Uh, well, why don't I? Why don't we look at these? Currently, while I'm walking to the next room. Uh, monomates. They're used to recover your HP. Telepipes. Oh, you know what? They have descriptions on them. I mean, temporarily creates a teleport to gate to the city. I mean, I don't really need. I need a. Yeah, I don't think a. What made all the animals become so violent all of a sudden? They weren't before. They were quite friendly. Um. Th there must be some cause. I'll find it. I know I'm a fool. This won't make me any richer. Perhaps that's why I'm ex uh, exalted by them. Red Ring Rico. Ha ha. But I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really the great hunter citizens say I am. They needed a hero, and I just happened to fill that position. Yeah, so actually, it's the, um, it's the, uh, uh, I, I already forget his name, uh, Principal Tyrell. Oh, no, why do I keep doing that? Principal Tyrell, um, his daughter, Red Ring Rico, left these, um, Red Ring Rico. And what was I saying before this? Dang it. I always do that. Ah. Uh, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the item descriptions. And while I'd love to do them right now, we might actually have to wait a little bit on those. Because I really need to get through this quite fast, actually. Because it's very long, and I don't want you guys to have, like, an hour and 30 minute long video. I want, like, I want this to be at, at the longest an hour video. At the very, very longest. But it probably won't be that long. It'll probably be about... 45 minutes, maybe. At the very most. At the very most. It'll probably be, uh, 45 minutes. Alright. Moth mats will keep appearing one after another. You have to strike them out at the root. Yeah. At the moth nest. You know what? These things give better advice than I do. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Disable the laser fences by using colored switches. Well, I would hope anyone could figure that out. Also, the yellow stuff I pick up, I, I should have mentioned this very earlier. That's basically cash. The yellow stuff. Uh, let me just drop a little bit of it. Cash. I guess you could say it is. Mesa. Ah, and here's the moss nest. Gives very good directions. Alright, I'm just gonna beat this thing up. All right. Ow. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, and I got him with a uh, zone day. With my back turned. Oh, and some savage wolves. Oh, actually, it's a savage and a barbus wolf. Or bar bar Oh, dang it. And I'm doing exactly the opposite of what um, the thing told me to do. Alright, we, we got them both down. Oh dang it, now we have some boomers to worry about. I don't like their weird faces. Uh, that, 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 I just love that line. I remember uh, playing through this game and reading that the first time. And I think it, I didn't think it was funny at all first time I read that, actually. I thought, why don't you like their faces? I, I actually kind of like them. But now I'm like, yeah, I don't like their faces either. <laughs> uh. Oh, and we're level 7 now. Well, that's good, because um, we're going to need that. <laughs> we're really going to need that, actually. Uh. Okay, let's go to... Oh. 
I think we just uh, got a power bomb uh, right here, and I'm. I I don't really know what to think. Uh, and I think I missed something back here. Did I? Well, anyways, um, I think uh, yeah, I just got a power bomb of some kind, but I don't think it was anything to worry about. Uh. I mean, the lights just flickered in here for a second. It might be a bad bulb or something. So, we're just going to read this. Wow, bodies of dead animals. We hunters sometimes use firearms, but this... They were killed by firearms much stronger than ours. Yeah, you could tell that they're uh, from Pioneer 1 because they, they said sometimes use firearms. Now with us... We always use firearms. Oh, and there's one more over here. Then we're gonna go to forest two. These are actually littered everywhere. Oh, dang it. Ragrappies are cowards, but they like to attack straight on. When ragrappies fall down, it may still be alive, so be careful. You're just mean. You're just being... That is, uh... That's racism against ragrappies. Um... Well, I don't really see how you could say that, but that's what it is. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, oh, why do I keep doing that? All right, here's the next one. A disaster occurred. Things were shaking. Then something broke through the surface, and it exploded in uh, in the central dome. I don't know what to say. For seven years, we've tried to adjust and improve the environment. What was it? Was it related to the accidents we had re we've had recently? Yeah. Well, we're not gonna find that out until end game, okay? I'm not gonna spoil it, uh, all the story. Although I do want to spoil some of it. Uh, I don't know exactly how much to spoil. Spoil. Um. Yeah. Also. There's going to be these, uh, things we need to turn on in each area. I mean, not in each area, but in each set of areas. It'll make more sense once, uh, we see all of them. Oh, dang it. Whoa. Ow. You hit my shield. Oh, now you just hit me. Um, so let's get some more Mesa and tax some more Golumas. All right. Foe. Okay, these guys are a little tougher than Boomas, I guess you could say. I'm getting a lot of flickering lights for some reason. Uh, I think I hear a vacuum as well. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, dang it. I don't want to die here. Oh, just think about when we run into a Heidelbear now. Because I'm pretty sure we'll wind up running into a Heidelbear. Ooh, and we almost have a Photon Blast. It's at 82. Oh, also, we can't forget about our mags. So, let's give them... Hunan, why are you feeding them that? They're such rare. I don't care. Alright, and it's level 17, and it has still one foot on Blast Keg. I just gotta remember that part. Uh, and I don't remember if there was one of the things in here. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. So, here's the next one, I hope. I don't think there was one in here. Oh, did I read this? Uh, it really bugs me. Um, look for a switch to activate the bridge. Oh. Well, there you go. I didn't read it. Uh... <laughs> Even though I did activate the switch. Alright, here's the next one. Pioneer 1 may have damaged the ecological system of Rango before we were aware of it. So the native creatures tried to remove the invaders. That's one of the supposed... Yeah, suppositions. Ah. Uh, but what about the explosion? I need more information. I have to go do some research. And actually, uh, one of the quests, uh was based on that. I think it was the quest we didn't... Eh. 
I think it was the quest uh, we didn't get to do. It was based on that. Uh, so, oh, oh, the, that, those boomers scared me. Um, though they usually pop up like that, so I don't know why it scared me. Alright, came plus two, nah, not gonna grab that. Um, you know, I'm actually taking a lot of damage in this forest. Uh, whoa. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh no, I'm expecting to see a Heidelbear for some reason. Come on. Alright. Please, no Heidelbear. Okay, no Heidelbear. I can roll with that. Oh, I didn't know I picked up. Ow. Dang it, I'm just getting beat up here. Alright, aw, oh, dang it. Why so many? Alright, here's the next one. Oh, dang it. There's some over there, and that's probably gonna bug me later. Oh, oh, special ability of that. Um, you, you can't hit a <laughs> Heidel Bear. Try standing in front of. You can't, if you can't hit a Heidelbear, try standing in front of it. Of course, I don't miss. Hmm. Alright, and here is, oh, why do I keep doing that? I guess I just, I play this GameCube controller, so I just have an impulse to move the C-Stick for no reason. Oh, it bugs me. Of course, just turn around when you go to hit me. Alright, now we're gonna need to use this. Um, cause there's none in here. There's none in here. Alright, so I think we are gonna have to turn right up here. Though I know that's not where the end of Forest 2 is. And wow, we're only 17 minutes in. I thought this was gonna take like an hour. Aw. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for, uh, misinterpreting my, uh, how long this would take, uh. Eh. Oh, dang. Oh, no, I don't want to be surrounded. That's the worst place you can be. Surrounded is the- oh! Photon Blast, uh. No, actually, I think I want to save that, um, but the only problem is, as long as I have a photon blast, I can't use my spells. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, and we have a escape doll on us, right? Yeah, we'll be able to beat this boss easy. Oh wow, we're... Well, about... And I wouldn't say halfway to leveling up. Now where is it? Um... Do you have to beat the forest once to find it? Uh, find it. Eh. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, I don't like this. Um... Alright, let's just ignore them for now. Is it in here? Nope. I don't think there's anything in here. Uh... I guess that was all the things to read here. Oh, this is actually sort of short. Oh no, no, I activated it like an idiot. Ah, oh. oh well. There's my photon blast. It just recovers me. It's basically just Resta. Oh, that's. I mean, it's such a terrible photon blast. You want one that does a lot of damage, <laughs> not one that recovers you.
Ah, indeed. That's weird. Is there enemies behind some of these doors? Ow. Oh, well, that was a weird foe, eh? Alright, ow. My leg hurts, actually. Um. Yeah, there's enemies behind this door. This is where I spawned. Or, not spawned, but came in. Huh. Very weird. Um, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. I don't feel like dealing with them. So, we're going over here, and there's more enemies in here? I don't... Um, something's bugging me. I don't know what it is. Something about the stage just just doesn't seem right. Oh well. Probably nothing big. Uh. Oh, and there is a thing there. Okay, I I was wrong. I thought I had to. Oh. Okay. Really, we're taking everything down fairly quickly. Oh no. This is the room where there's usually a Heidel Bear. Oh, no, 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 there he is. Oh, dear, I didn't see him coming on, on uh, screen, so he scared me while I just saw him out of, like, like, a little off screen. He just scared me a little. No, I didn't want to hit the Booma. Oh, dear. Oh, at least I have high enough to defense to block his fist. Oh, yes, we beat him. Well, actually... They're not much of a threat to us anymore. Uh... Because we're high enough level to, uh, where they're not a threat. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna activate this. Now, there's one in each set of, um, places. There's the forests. I'm not gonna say the other two places, um... Or... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty great, I assume. I accidentally pushed that, and yeah. I'm not going to see the other places. So I'm going to activate it. It does do something for us. You actually do have to activate these in order to uh, progress in the story eventually. But it's much further on. I heard that this tall column was built to commemorate, commemorate the immigration of Pioneer 1. But... It just m be me, uh, just maybe be, but it doesn't look very new. All these patterns, aren't they characters? Uh, yes, but I can't tell if they're the PSO language or not. Um, no, I, I don't think they are, actually. Actually, it looks like it's the same character printed over and over again on it. Because there are parts in this game uh, where it does have the PSO language written on stuff. But it's it's so hard to read that you, you really can't tell sometimes. Alright, we're just going to own this thing right here and hopefully not die. Alright, we're, we're making fair progress. Ow. And I'm getting critical hit by uh, Moth Max.
All right, and there, there goes all the moth nest. Uh, the moth nest. There goes the moth nest. And that guy's trying to run away from me. All right, no. Oh, it's cute. Oh, dang it. I was gonna say it's a cute little rag rappy. Just like me. Uh. Ow. I am the rag rappy. Although these rag rappies are evil here. They're not normal rappies. They're, they've been uh, converted, uh, or something. Well, um, I'm not gonna say what these rag rappies are doing and why they attack me and stuff until later on where it seems like a more appropriate time to say it. <laughs> uh, I really shouldn't be saying that. Uh, you know, you shouldn't say that. What if, like, a Heidelberg takes offense to that or something? Then what are you gonna do? Oh, there's a Heidelberg over there. Dang it. Oh, by the way, Heidelbears can jump. And I mean they can jump. I don't know if you've seen one not jumping, but look. I'm going to be running. Oh, yes. He can jump. Ow. And he does... Oh, I thought he did more damage. Oh, why did I do that? He only takes... Oh, dang it. Dang it. I didn't think he had that much health, actually. I thought he had less. I guess he actually has a ton of health. Um, so now, we're like at the boss. So, put your boss caps on. I I don't really think that's much of a joke or anything. Uh, just put your boss caps on. See, we can't enter through this door. The door is broken. Uh, no, it won't open. Might be easier to look for another way to get in. Because there's a giant teleporter here. And this is what all the boss teleporters look like. They all look like this. Uh, under the dome. That's what the place is called. Um, very famous place uh, in PSO. Alright. And here's the boss. The dragon. Very mean boss. I usually wind up dying when I'm under level 10 fighting him. But, uh... We're gonna try to beat him. Uh, oh dear. Oh, did did, did Mike Barta hit his face? Oh, oh. I think that um, some of these things actually might do an instant kill to me. Oh wow. And we're actually we actually got him down on his legs with level seven force. Wow. This is actually pretty grand. Um, oh dear. Alright, now what is he gonna do now? I hope he doesn't do what I think he's gonna do. Otherwise, gonna, otherwise, um, oh no, he's gonna fire. Alright. But relatively safe, right? Ah. Shoot, we don't have any more. Oh, I should have brought some mono fluids. Uh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, oh, and he's. Come on. Oh, dang it. This isn't gonna go well. Well, here he is flying up in the air, everybody, and. Hopefully, uh, he's gonna fire some more fire. And you can't see it because I'm running away from it, actually. But if he hits me with that, it's, it might do it a lot of damage. Oh! He fell down there and I took a lot of damage. So let's just attack him. I don't even think we have him down to half HP yet. Because once he's at half HP, um, he does something rather cheap. Alright, is he at half HP? Oh no, he's gonna step on me. Oh. 
Thank goodness he didn't step on me. I mean, think about it. Oh, now he's at half HP. Whoops. All right, he's at half HP, everybody. All right, now what's he gonna do? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of what he's gonna do. Um. Oh no, no, it's, it's this part now. Okay. I'm just gonna go up right against these side walls, cause he's gonna come barreling down there, and he might actually kill me instantly. Uh. So I'm very worried about that, actually. I'm worried that he m might just insta kill me. So I'm gonna be running along these side walls. Oh, oh, jeez, that scared me. All right, now we can own him. Just make sure you're not standing too close to him when he comes down, or otherwise, you might die instantly. Just a suggestion. All right, I think we're we're gonna beat him. Might we might even level up from this boss battle. Oh, missed his leg there. And he's spewing out some more fire. You know, he's probably not the most intelligent boss, but... He's not the easiest boss to beat, because he has that cheap thing where he goes under the ground. And, um... Aw, oh, he's doing it again. Aw, oh, dang it. I really hate this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Alright. I really do hate this. Um... Because, oh, okay, he's starting here, so he won't be able to hit me. See, he goes across the floor like that. And that's, like, literally unblockable. Oh, and I'm safe here once again. Super lucky. Alright, and he's out again. And now we can continue to own him. Uh, oh, and we have enough for another Barta. And I totally failed. But you know, we're doing good. Uh, we're actually getting some good damage in for like a level 7 force. I was actually a little worried that we were under leveled. Oh, yes. Now be careful here, because when he drops down, he can kill you. And you will get no experience from... If you're in a party or something, you'll get no experience for killing him. Because he'll fall on you when he dies, and... Oh, it's just terrible when that happens. All right, um, Star Animizer, and we're level eight now. Cool. Now we're about ten levels away from being able to start the next area. <laughs> uh, I I usually like to be le like level twenty to start the next area. Um, so I might do some level grinding before we go to the next area. Maybe. I probably won't. I'll probably just go, ah, let's just go to the next area and get owned. Um, but yeah, we got some treasure here for beating the boss. A rifle, frame, I'm ignoring them. No, actually, I could probably sell the rifle for some good Mesa. Oh, and by the way, these lava pits during the battle, they do hurt you. But after the battle, they're harmless. Well, that was a fairly decent boss battle. Now, you can't see the cha uh, treasure chests if they're too far away. Or, I think they're called boxes. Boxes, yes. You can't see them if they're too far away, so... Make sure you explore the whole area. Make sure that you look at everything. Ah, oh, really? Why, why do I keep accidentally pushing this C-stick? I'm gonna have to... Get rid of my uh, talkative things. All right, now we beat that. Now we have more quests. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, we don't have more quests yet. Not yet. Not this second. Um, we have to go to Principal Tyrell. And talk to him. Let's see what he says. The dragon. Did you? Uh, did it attack you? You think the native animals on Raggle attacked Pioneer 1 to defend their territory? It's possible, but why did it happen all of a sudden? Continue investigating, please. Uh, well, actually what I just said to him is an outright lie, so don't get that stuck in your brain too much. Uh, native animals attacking, uh, 
Well, now, if we go in here, ah, whoops, I accidentally pulled on something, ah, we now have new quests. The value of money, ah, uh, ah, oh, this quest is so, you know what, we might have to make this like half a video actually, because it's, it's such a simple quest to do, um, and then these ones, oh no, I hate this one. I absolutely hate it. Ah, uh, in a few videos we're gonna be doing it. Ah, uh, why? Why must the game torture me? Well, these quests. I guess I shall show you guys the next area before we go, because we're going off now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the next area. It is the caves. Cave one. Now, the caves are probably the most annoying place in all of episode one. Yes. And these places, you, you see in forest one, forest two, they all have a general layout. Well, these, the caves do not, like, they do have a pattern. Oh, dear, I don't want to fight these guys. I do not want to fight these guys. Um, They do have a pattern layout. But the thing is, they're so massive and complex, they never look the same when you go back in there. They never look the same. I think there's like three or four maps for each cave, and it'll pick a random one each time. Oh, I hate it. Like, I absolutely hate it. I hate the caves. I think it's like the most... I'm your rapid guide, yeah. Uh, I absolutely hate the caves. Um, we're gonna be starting those soon, oh. But the place after the caves isn't as bad, so... I mean, it's, it's still pretty hard, but it's not as terrible. So, this is Hunum, signing off from Let's Play Fantasy Star Online, Episode 1. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.